What's up YouTube, Christo here, and <clears throat> I've got a review for you, it's been a long time since I've done a review. Um, I've been working on my Q&A, um, and it's just way too long, it's way, way too long, I'm getting frustrated trying to do it, <clears throat> so I thought I'd take a break and do a review, one that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, I will be reviewing Creed's Tabarome Millicene. And uh, this isn't to be confused with the Tabarome Vintage, or Vintage Tabarome. Uh, very highly sought after, very desirable. Um, they are different. Um, I've never tried the uh, Vintage, but um, I would love to. I've heard great things about it. <clears throat> Anyways, let's look at this. This is created in 2000 by Olivier Creed. Um, and it is listed as an aromatic fougere, and I think that does fit pretty well with this. Uh, notes, we've got lots of citrus in the opening. Um, we've got mandarin orange, bergamot, lemon, and some ginger. Uh, in the mid, there's sandalwood and vetiver. In the base, we've got musk, tea, and tobacco. Now, um, to me, the most predominant note is definitely the tobacco. Um, that's what the essence of this was supposed to be. Um, also, supporting the tobacco, uh, there is ginger, but I find it really fades away after the first um, 20 or 30 minutes, um, which is perhaps a good thing. Um, I'll talk about that a bit later, though. Um, also, there is tea and musk um, that you get from the base, um, and also there is a lot of citrus in the opening. Um, I'm going to say I do detect a little more of the mandarin orange than the lemon or the bergamot, but that's just me. Now, bottle sizes, uh, pretty standard for Creed 75, 120, and the 250 ml flacon. Um, this, mine being a 75 ml, and I do realize this is not the Tabarone cap. Uh, I just transfer my cap from my testers to my product, whichever one I'm carrying around. Um, now, prices. Uh, these are pretty standard Creed prices. Uh, Tabarone Millicene is not really easy to find discounted, uh, like a lot of the Creed's. Uh, you can find Silver Mountain Water, Original Vetiver, um, Virgin Island Water. You can find those for like $120, $130 um, if you look on discount sites. Uh, this one has yet to flood the discount market, uh, which, you know, perhaps it's good, perhaps it's, you know, not that good. Um, obviously, you can get it cheaper, but everyone's going to start buying it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, price is about 100 to 200 plus, especially if you buy the 120 mil uh, from a retail department store. Um, the 250 mil uh couldn't find many uh, listings for it, so yeah, you're probably going to look uh, 400 plus. Uh, right, opening and dry down. It's been a while since I've done a review. Um, I've got the dry down over here, so I'm going to give you guys a little burst for the opening. Okay, so the opening, yeah, definitely. I can smell citrus, and yeah, it is. It is definitely mandarin orange, and you can smell the ginger. Uh, the ginger and the mandarin orange are really strong in the opening, but they uh, the the citrus especially really fades quickly, really really quickly. Um, like, it's already gone, and I can already smell the tobacco coming in. So for now, it's kind of tobacco ginger. Now over here, very different story. Um, the tobacco is a little, um, a little stronger. The teas, uh, sorry, the ginger's kind of faded out, and tea and musk are starting to come in from the base, which is really nice. I don't honestly get much of the middle notes, um, the uh, vetiver and sandwood. There is definitely a little um, sweetness that I do get uh, from the sandwood, I believe it is, but uh, definitely not a fragrance I would go looking for if I was looking for sandalwood. Okay, now, um, what does this make me think of? Uh, this makes me think of fresh, moist, pipe tobacco, uh, right out of the package. Um, 
It's not really a smoky tobacco to me. It doesn't smell like someone smoking a big Cuban cigar or something. It's more like really fresh, soft pipe tobacco. Something, you know, um, you'd see like an older uh, gentleman smoking in a smoking jacket. Um, it is much heavier and darker. When I say much, you know, I'm comparing that to Creed's. Um, this is much darker and heavier than most Creed's I've ever tried. Um, and I definitely noticed a lot of similarities to Silver Mountain Water. Um, as the first time I sprayed this, that's exactly what this made me think of. Um, but it's a little more different, it's a little weirder. Um, I definitely pick up the tea and the musk from the base, so um, I'm guessing that's what gives me the comparison. Um, I like to think this makes me think of kind of boozy tobacco, like brandy scented pipe tobacco. Um, there is no uh, alcohol listed in this, but um, I definitely do get a sweet, um, boozy feeling from it. Now, longevity. Um, for this one, I get pretty average longevity. Um, five to seven, maybe even eight hours. Um, I don't have a problem, a huge problem with most creeds I've tried. I know a lot of people uh, really poo-poo creeds for having terrible longevity. Um, this one perhaps maybe because it is a little uh, spicier, a little heavier, uh, maybe you know it does uh, last a little bit longer. But yeah, I'd say five to seven hours for myself. Um, projection about the same. It's, it's about average. Um, nothing fantastic, but again, a lot of people like to complain about Creed's projection, um, which I will side with a little more than the longevity for myself, but this one, it's about average, about average projection. Um, you're not going to pick up, you know, uh, people smelling you from like 10, 15 feet behind you like you could um, with some of these kind of uh, neo-niche bombs, if you will, um, but projection's average. Ah, now this one, this is my first Creed review, and is this Creed quality? Uh, to me, yes, I think this is Creed quality, and to make it even better, it's a very unique Creed as well. Um, I've sampled, I'd say, at least 15, perhaps 20 Creeds, and of all of them, this is possibly the most unique one I've ever tried. Um, I've never quite smelled anything like it. Uh, like I said, I've never tried the Tabarum Vintage, and I'd like to. Um, I don't know how similar they are, but um, if they are, that is about the only thing I could think of that would be even remotely similar to it. All right, seasons. Where are we going to be wearing this, or when are we going to be wearing this, I should say. Um, transitional, for sure. Um, it's a little darker, it's a little heavier, so I don't think you'd be wearing this in the summer too much, perhaps at the night, I could see that maybe, uh, but I think this would be great for spring, great for fall. Um, ideally of those two, um, you know, I want to say spring because spring's, you know, just just sprung, if you will, but um, I think I could see this more being pulled off in the autumn, um, perhaps the kind of brown feeling um, with the herbs and the spices in it. Occasion. Now, this one, this is a great formal or semi-formal scent, I think. Um, it's classy, uh, so you could wear it for a nice night out, um, ideally perhaps with a, a girlfriend, wife, fiancé, something like that. Definitely not a first date scent. This is a little too um, mature and safe for that. Um, you probably want to wear something a little louder and a little more sexy. Um, as classy as this is, I wouldn't say it's anything sexy. Um, uh, where else? Um, definitely office. This would definitely be something that um, a mature professional could wear to work. Um, it's not that strong. It's not that loud. Um, you're not going to get um, com uh, you're not going to get any complaints from this unless you go too heavy on the trigger, of course. Um, age. Now this one, I think this is more mature. Um, although this doesn't have like the old man feeling to it, it is definitely more of a mature fragrance, which is nice because um, of all the mature scents, this one is definitely the least old manish, or one of the least old manish I've ever tried. I think 30 plus would be a good number, um, and as well, I could totally see this going to 60 plus. I could definitely see like a classier, older gentleman, like 65 years old, um, sitting around the country club, smoking a pipe, 
smell like this for sure. Um, as well, I like this. I think I could pull this off and not, you know, seem a bit suspicious. Like, why is he wearing something like that? So I think this would fit 30 plus. Now, what's good about this? Well, um, for a Creed, I keep saying that for a Creed, this is really unique, and I like that. Um, and I really enjoy Creeds. A lot of them are very safe and easy to wear. Um, and I enjoy that, they're very well made, but this one um, just goes a little bit further. I think this kind of takes up um, their creativity a notch. It's not overdone compared to a lot of the creeds that are very popular now. Um, Aventus, Original Santal, Original Vetiver, a lot of the ones as well that you can get discounted. Um, this is still pretty, pretty under the radar. Um, people are starting to discover it um, and it's getting a lot of good feedback. Um, so, you know, perhaps start looking into this before it gets exploited. Um, also, the, the projection longevity I think is very acceptable, um, especially if you want to compare it to other creeds. Um, and I think this will definitely appeal to people who like tea and tobacco, either or as well. If you like tobacco, if you like tea, um, I recommend checking this out. Um, also, like I mentioned, I find real strong similarities between this and silver mountain water. So perhaps if you're looking for something a little more formal or perhaps something a little darker than silver mountain water, um, I think this might be something worth looking into. What's bad about this? Well, the price. Um, if you shop on a budget like I do, um, I won't pay retail price for creeds. Call me cheap if you will, but I won't. Um, the only reason I have this is I picked it up from a friend heavily used. Um, and it is a tester, but I just whacked the cap on, like I said. Um, yeah, it's not really available in discounters yet, but that could be a good thing because it's not going to be overdone. Um, also, if you're a fan of Creed and you've tried things like Original Vetiver, Original Santal, Silver Mountain Water, Virgin Island Water, Aventus, etc., um, I would highly recommend checking this out first because it is definitely much more different and much more unique than any of those. Um, also, it's probably not going to appeal to many guys under 30. Of course, there will be fellas out there who will like it under 30, but um, I think this would be more for the more mature crowd. Also, if you don't like ginger or tobacco, stay away. Um, like I mentioned before, uh, the ginger kind of dissipates after the first 20, 30 minutes, and I think that's a good thing because the first time I tried this, the ginger, I don't know, it wasn't really working for me, but luckily um, the ginger really mellows out. Um, it's still there, but definitely not as strong as in the opening. Um, yeah, so that's Creed Tabaron Millicime. I definitely think this is an up-and-coming fragrance. I think this is going to get a lot of attention in 2012. Um, people are already starting to talk about it, and um, yeah, I think this is a really nice fragrance, something definitely uh, very different for a modern creed. So, there you go, guys. Tabarum Millisim. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.